everybody, it's Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I am so excited to share with you my setup for September using the awesome collection, the Daisy Fields collection. This was a collaboration that we did with Lanou's Pots, and I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, when I was talking with her about themes and ideas for the coming year, this was one that she expressed that she wanted to do, and it just turned out amazing. I, I absolutely adore her. I adore her artwork. And uh, we, we added, we got the first draft of bits and pieces from her, totally blown away. And we had her add the kitty cat, which I thought was really, really cute. And we've named the kitty Daisy. So we think that that's kind of a fun little addition. And then the bumbles and of course the daisies. Um, just love it. And then the color palette with that pop of purple, which a lot of you know, I'm not a big purple fan. However, uh, I love how it it worked with the browns and the tans and the golds in this collection. It's just that little bit of unexpected and it just looks beautiful all together. So um, big shout out to her for her amazing work. And then also um, the way that Jamie and Leah, our other two designers, um, put all of it together and made an absolutely adorable collection. I have an amazing team and I just, I gotta say, they do such a wonderful job. And Eve as well with our stickers, um, she does the sticker kits along with Jamie and Leah and just love it. Love, love, love all of it. I love the colors, I'm just so excited. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to only use this for a month. I think that's the, 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 I would I would have to profess that's probably the hardest thing that I have um, is that we create these beautiful collections and there's so much and then um, a month goes by too fast. <laughs> but you always look forward to the next one too, but it's, it's just like I wish the months were longer so you could have more time to enjoy each collection because they're all so beautiful. But super, super thrilled about this one. So big thank you to my team. They did just fantastic. So I am using a Vanderspect. Surprise, surprise. It kind of seems I need to probably just get rid of all of my other planners because these are the, and especially this month, I have to say, I went a little crazy with layering all of the artwork and add it. So my, my planner's like super chunky, but it's just delicious that way. <laughs> That's the way I love it. So I have my Vanderspeck and it's kind of a, um, I don't, it's not gray. It's almost kind of an off white, but it's super, super pretty. I like the, I like that it's not stark white, white. I do have a white one that I use often, but this is just a little bit more of a, almost like a beige or an off white or a super pale taupe almost. And then I opted to get um, the, the tan on the inside as a contrast. And I think it highlights these colors and keeps them soft so well. And it feels a little bit more of a transition to fall. I could have done my bright white planner with this or a yellow planner, I have one of those. But I felt like I wanted something that uh, toned it perfectly for that transition to fall. And I think that that's what this does. So um, I used my little sloth back from, I believe it was Treetop Canopy a couple years, not this last spring, but spring before that um, line did for us for that collection. And um, he just, he went so well with this, I brought him back. He's one of my absolute little favorites. So I have him in my planner quite often. But here's the thing. These little guys, especially the daisy and the mouse, I could, and even the kitty, because look how cute would he be resting on top of the page. I want to turn these into little clips as well. Well, I'm, I'm torn. I want to, I want to put them on little clips because they would be so stinking cute. But then at the same time, they're adhesive backed 
and these were part of the um, the planner add-on. But they would be really cute. I have a plain, um, larger canvas, like um, little planner tote. And I'm like, oh, they'd be really, really cute on that. And then I have a plain TN cover and they'd be super cute on that. <laughs> so I don't know yet what I wanna do with these little guys. There's so many little things that I wanna do with them. Especially that daisy. I love that daisy. So I don't know. We'll have to see. But those are, so I, I maybe I'll go hoard and grab another if we have any extras. <laughs> I'll take them and then I have, I can play with both sets. But those were in the planner add-on kit this month. Um, I added my little notepad in here. I created a couple of tags like I like to do. And then um, just kind of added a few bits and pieces, the little button um, from the classified planner I put in there, had a little bow, one of our die cut uh, uh, quote cards from a previous kit, I love to add those in. And then I had this beautiful daisy in my stash. And then I added a couple of the little puffy stickers because they're gorgeous. These were in the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And then I also, because they're so gorgeous and I knew you'd want to, if you possibly could get to, I also added one in the Classified Memory Keeping Kit. So this one I just cut in half because I used the other half somewhere else. And then I have the little ladybug. And then of course my stickers tucked in there. So the uh, tab page, I just added a few of the little glitter dots. I added a couple glitter dots on here and a little die cut with the cone flower. Uh, this ampersand divider is from the Minimalist Planner Kit. And I like to tuck that one in once in a while. I like the boldness of it, so I did that this month. And then my striped pages. What I did with my striped pages, I ran these through the printer and added the word photos because what I do with these, and actually I can show you, I'm gonna just show you what I do with those. Um, let me just grab. So like, for instance, this was um, uh, from July. So. I just, I put the dates on there and then I will write down um, a note on each one saying what the photo was for that day because this is how I record my photographs and just um, bits and pieces of information that if I'm not caught up on my daisy planner, which I'm usually not, which is where I do my memory planning, um, I like to have a photo a day and then what I can do is I can just take a couple pages. You can see the, the tick marks. I have printed these, like when I am gonna print photos, I can put them all on one eight and a half by 11 sheet, not waste any photo paper. And I can go through real quick on my phone and pull these up and know which ones I need to grab. So that's what I use this page for, is to record photographs or if there was something special about that day that I wanted to remember that maybe I didn't take a photograph, uh, maybe it's a quote, maybe it's just an idea for a title, um, something like that, I will throw that on here. And then this is where I store that information and have it. Um, I did some stickers, some rub-ons. Oh, one of the things that I did is I, I liked the idea of the transitioning the two colored um, date stickers. So I did two of them. I did the green down below here and then kind of that peach tone um, at the top. And then some more stickers, some die cuts, rub-ons, a little bit of stamping. Same thing here, stickers, rub-ons, die cut there. Remember our die cuts are stickers. And then some more rub-ons and then a little mousy butt. <laughs> and then I have, and I love this section this month because we have this card, this bookmark with, um, with the meal plan sticky notes. I cannot wait to use those. Um, so I took these large 
tags, these oversized tags, and these are part of the classified memory keeping kit, and I sandwiched two of them together, and I have a little cheat sheet for meals. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you've seen that, and I'll attach that in there. I probably should update it. I haven't updated it in a while, and um, just added a couple little die cuts on here. I have the little kitty, and then my absolute, I love this overlay. It is so pretty. This was part of the classified planner, and it has the beautiful daisies with the little bumblebee on there. So I added that for this section. And then our little bookmark, and I love this. So you have the, the acrylic bookmark. This comes in the main planner kit and it has the cute little honeycomb, so it matches. They are made to be a pair. Obviously, you can use them separate. Um, you can use them together, but they are made to function together. Um, and it says, home, a place w for endless love and laughter. I punched holes in this um, using my We Are Memory Keepers um, hole punch, and that will go through the heavy acrylic. And then I just have that in here, so now I can do all of my meal prep um, for for the month. I love this. Well, for even more than the month. So I, this will be carrying on with me <laughs> for a few months till I use it all up. But I love that. Um, another thing that you could do if you want to use these separately or even together, if you wanted to carefully wrap, just adhere this on the top and leave it open, you could use this as a washi card. So some people will do that. They'll wrap some washi around this and use it as a washi card. That way you don't have to try and store um, a whole roll of washi in your planner or in your pouch or anything. You can just add some uh, pieces right on there. So super excited about that. That was in the main planner kit. And then um, a lot of times I will write out. So one thing I do, so I have to tell you what I do with this. I write out the menu so that I have it um, planned out, but then I, the kids always want to know <laughs> what's, what's the meals for the week. And so on a sheet of paper, I'll write out um, what we're having, then I tack it up on our chalkboard so they know. So that's what I'll be able to do with these is tack it up on the chalkboard. But I like that as the shopping list too. But then this is where I will keep that log for the week. And just added some rub-ons. There's some stickers on here. And then I always like to add tabs on these pages, on these weeks, so that I can um, just kind of go to them. And I was super easy. This month, I was able to do that with um, our little tab stickers. These were in the planner add-on. These were in the planner add-on. And the way that you use them, they have a little score line, so they have a little fold line. And you just fold them and sandwich the paper in between, and it creates a little tab. And some of them you can use on the side, some of them you can use from the top, like this little mousy peeking up would be adorable to highlight a section on the top. If you don't want to use them that way, you can simply cut them apart and just use them as regular stickers too. But I like it a lot of times as I'm um, taking notes or I write something down or I write a long list down, which a lot of times I will do over here, and then I wanna go back and reference that page, then what's nice is I can use these and stick a couple at the top or the side and I can go back to that page. I know right where it is without having to rewrite it in another booklet or something. I can um, remember it by doing it that way. And then I just love this artwork. It is so adorable. Do some, um, some more stickers, some die cuts. A few rub-ons on there as well. So see, it's just nice and handy because you can just grab those and turn the pages. Some more stickers, die cuts. I liked the little hexagon stickers, so I put those there. Okay. 
And I love the the quotes and the scripture stickers that are on the vellum. They're so, I love that. They just kind of blend in so nice. And then a little mousy on the two books. And then this overlay, the Be Positive, or this uh, piece of vellum, Be Positive, Patient, and Persistent, was also part of the Classified Planner. I don't know what I'm going to put in this section yet, but I kind of wanted to divide this and use it for something. I don't know if it'll be maybe fall cleaning or organizing, which I'm on a big organizing kick right now. So that could be maybe what I end up using that for. And then the calendar, which I went a little crazy with. <laughs> so I added a bunch of die cuts in that that I layered with some foam. Like I told you, I made this super chunky. There's a little bit of um, one of the quotes there that I used that was from the vellum, a little bit of stamping, some alpha stickers. And then there's just a couple little glitter dots on there as well. So that is the calendar. And then just added a couple little things there. And then I used one of the dashboards. Uh, when you get the dashboard sets, they have both sizes of A5 and personal. And so when you get your, when you get your daily pages, they will start like this being the top, but they're meant to be a two page spread. So I always cover up that very first one with a dashboard. So hold, um, so I did that. So I was talking about the uh, dashboard that I had used to cover up the beginning of my daily section. And I added the die cut bumblebee, the little daisy, and then I added just this little bit of rub on. Um, and it was just kind of a little bit of a watercolor or ink splash on there. And so I added just that little bit there. And I liked that. It's just, it's a little bit, it's not a lot, but I like the way that that turned out. And then we go into the daily pages and I have my little uh, note card with the month on it. I added a rub on and a little die cut. These are from the pocket cards and these are the pocket cards you can subscribe to or purchase those separately or they come in the modern memory keeping kit. So I just turned that into a tag and then I used one of the smaller dashboards to add my little to-do list. And again, I did the same idea. I added a coneflower this time and then um, one of the uh, other little bits of um, the watercolor from the rub-ons. I added that on there as well. And just a little clip that I had. This is one of the printables used some alpha stickers on there. And then I used another one. This was one of my favorite cards from the pocket cards. I loved that. And the beautiful quilt paper. And I used the, um, the 12 by 12. So we do offer 12 by 12 papers. And you can subscribe to those. You can subscribe to just the papers or you can get the papers in our scrapbooking kit as well. And I used that to cut out my pocket using my die cut machine. And then um, I just stamped the little hello fall in there. I added a little bow, one of the beautiful dimensional puffy stickers and the um, little quote card from my stash. And then I used the third oversized tag to make my bookmark. So I used that on this side. I didn't want to add a whole lot on here. I liked it the way, just kind of simple. I added a couple of little um, glitter dots. And then on this side, I cut down uh, one of the, I believe it's the dashboards. Let me double check. I think that's what that is, is one of the, um, the dashboards for the other side of my bookmark and added the little puffy sticker um, little bee on there. And then my daily pages, I went through, we have a stamp set. 
that I love. And I think we still have some in, I think we restocked them in the store. I'll have to double check. Um, but I use these, these work perfectly uh, with the daily pages to set up your sections however you want. So you can totally customize this and stamp those on there. So I stamped all of the sections, added the little meal plan. I'll write out what we're having for dinner that day. But there's a bunch of different, there's the days of the week on here, there's hydrate. So there's a bunch of different um, labels that you can use for those sections in that stamp set. So that is what I did for my daily pages. Then I go through and I just added a bunch of fun, um, just kind of to keep track of things, reminders. I added a note card to that um, beautiful quilt paper again. And this is from one of the printables, that's my monthly. And then this little card, I love this. Um, and then on the back of it, I added in our classified planner, we have these fun little um, flag post-its. And I wanted to have a few of those in here, so I just, I peeled off a couple of them and added them to that card. It's just a little less bulk, because as you can see, I've got this big and bulky this month. So I just peeled off a few of them from there and then put them on here. So now they're nice and handy and I can flag a page if I need to. Uh, this little uh, quote card, this acrylic card was from a previous kit, but I just liked it in there. So I added it back in. It's what I like about some of our black and white items like this is that um, you can use them over and over. They fit every month. Um, this was from the printable. I added the uh, video content, so that's my list of ideas for that for this month. And then the little bumblebee. And then this card um, that's on the back of it was one of our Traveler's Notebook memory keeping cards. So I cut that down and uh, added the cute little mousy die cut. And then again, another one of the printables added some little puffy stickers and some more of these were actually part of the printable too i believe i cut those out from there and just kind of layered them in there and then this dashboard and then i used the another one of the pretty little um, puffy stickers oh and then this is one of our small let's see if i have that i don't have it in front of me one of our um the, let's see, was it August? August, we got the um, stamp set that works with these smaller tabs. So that is what I did here. I added that one, oh, and this one. So I used a couple of our smaller little tabs that were in the planner add-on and stamped those with the little stamp set and used those to kind of divide up that section as well. Then just added a simple uh, rub-on on there. And then I did the same thing on the smaller version. I just thought that was kind of pretty, just a small touch. And then the um, puffy uh, rubber clip topper, it's the little daisy. I do not remember what kit that was in. I think that was either in the planner add-on or the classified planner. One or the other, and then just another one of the personal sized um, dashboards. And then these are, um, this is the A5 size with some patterned paper on the back. And the same thing on this one. And then I cut down a large acrylic sheet and added a pen loop. This was one from my stash um, to hold my highlighter. And then, of course, our beautiful pen this month, which I snagged an extra because I absolutely love it because, well, it's daisies, right? And then it has the pretty little yellow crystals in the middle. And then I want to do something. There were a, t a bunch of these cute, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to share it once I figure out what I want to do. So I saved a bunch of the cute little die cuts that have the books. And I liked this um, fall book list. 
So I want to do something to um, keep track of books that I've started. I've, I love to read. I just never have any time except for on vacation. And But I'm trying to make more time to read again. So I bought a stack of books and I have them setting in the corner of my bedroom. And I want to try and kind of track them a little bit, keep track of them. And I thought this was the perfect opportunity to create a little tracker page or something um, to do that. So I haven't figured out what I want to do or how I want to do that, but I will I'll probably make a cute bookmark for in my books as well. So that is what I'm going to do with that. And then what else did I want to show you? Oh, I wanted to show you the beautiful pouch. And I love, um, I love the canvas. I feel like it's just a better quality. It's, um, I don't know, it, it's a little bit more sophisticated than just the plain white, I feel like. And it's a little bit more sturdy. So I really like having um, these printed on this canvas. But never fear, we do have a clear plastic pouch coming up. Um, so be watching for that. I believe November we have one. So you'll be happy to know that because I know a lot of you were asking for that. And then, of course, the rub-ons. I just want to mention that when you use the rub-ons, make sure when you pull them out, you put a little staple in the top to hold the backer um, paper with the rub-ons, and it just keeps them protected so that you, um, you're you not accidentally rubbing them onto something and losing part of them. Just cut them out one at a time as you use them rather than try and do it from the whole sheet. So that is a look at my setup using the beautiful Daisy Fields collection for September. I hope I've given you some ideas. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. We love when you do that, and I love when you leave comments. I do try to go back and respond to every single comment that you leave. So if you have any questions or if there's something more, um, I have planner piece. So my setup is, is really pretty consistent every month, but I'd be happy to show you other ideas if you want to see them. Um, not necessarily in other <laughs> setups because um, time is kind of tight and I love to make video content, but if I'm making video content, for instance, using a personal planner that I'm not going to use, then it, it, does, it, it takes away from me showing you how to use um, some of the product or to do stamping or, or other things. So if there's anything, um, anything about any of the particular product or how to use it, uh, put that down below. I'd be happy to try and help you, but like doing a full setup, um, that's what I kind of leave are some of our designers who use those um, different um, sizes and that. I kind of leave that up to them. Um, but I'm happy to show you some stuff in booklets if you want to see that. Um, if you want me to go over um, just how to make anything or add it to your planner, I'm happy to do that. If there's anything in particular you would like me to expand on as far as stamping, I'd love to show that as well. So make sure you put that in the comments below and um, help me fill up, help me fill up my little video content list for the month for ideas. I would love to do that. So little snippets that I can make to share with you, please let me know. So have a wonderful September. I hope you're enjoying this collection as much as I am.